Hey, hello everybody. This is Jacob Boone again. Uh, this is going to be the third video of the three-part videos that myself and Chris Mackey, who is my mentee and agent in Union Coy County. Of course, I'm the agent in Hancock County. And so this third video is going to be about forage testing and why that's important, how to do it, and what to expect. So we're getting, we're coming upon hay season and hay season is our most important time of the year, especially if you're a cow-calf operator, because that is, hay is how we get through the winter. Now, what's gonna be important to know about this year is that due to the pandemic, we're probably keeping cows longer than we want to due to the marketing not being where we would like it to be. So what that may mean is we're gonna need more hay this year, or better yet, we're gonna need better quality hay. So one of the ways that we can figure that out is we can do forage testing. We can figure out what your hay has got in it as far as quality and nutrition, nutri nutrients go. But then that's also going to help us develop a supplement program for our minerals. So that way we're not having any holes in our nutrition for our livestock. So what I have here is a forage probe. Um, this goes into a cordless or corded drill, whichever. And it's got this is the end that goes into your drill like a bit and it's got this little button that you slide into your probe it snaps in there you want to make sure it snaps in so it's good and secure and on this end we have the teeth and this teeth they cut in there and they twist and they correct a good sample and a good uniform sample all throughout the belt so in order to do this video you got to have a forage probe and then you also need a drill cord or cordless whichever if you're going to do a cordless, make sure your batteries are charged because what our forage analysis folks like to see is samples from 10 different bales. And they need to be bales all from the same cutting. So in a couple of weeks, maybe even three weeks, everyone should be getting started on their first cutting. That would be a prime, I, I time, prime time to test some of your bales and figure out what your quality is because your first cutting is always going to be your best cutting your highest amount of quality your highest amount of nutrients is going to be readily available as your next cuttings go and we get later on into the year your quality will decrease so we want to do our first cutting this is going to be the one that we want to do because it's going to be the most ideal so simply just take the bit make sure it's good and tight and so what we have here today is we have a round bale, uh, soft core or hard core, Chris? I think it's hard core. Hard core, okay. Especially if it's you, we want to go from the side, and that's why we're on this side of the, the round bale. That's especially important if it's a soft core. If it's a hard core, you can go from the side, but we recommend you go from the round or the flat, the round side instead of the flat side. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a core sample and over here what I have is a graduated cylinder. Um, what I, the reason why we're putting it in this is that way you can see it. Uh, but what you want to do when you're doing this at home is put all of your samples that goes in this probe and we're going to show you how you take that out because um, we have a plunger there. But you want to you sample 10 different bales like I said earlier because that's going to give you the best representation of an average across your entire um, hay stock. Because you may have one bale that was predominantly on the edge or predominantly in the middle. This kind of gives you an average to give you the best representation that we can, be as accurate as possible. So what you do is you want to go at an angle. And like I said, we hope this battery's charged up so we can get all the way through this bale. But the reason why you want to make sure all your batteries are charged because on a cordless drill this can take some life of your battery to juice out of your battery pretty quickly and so to get through 10 bales you may have to use more than one battery but today we're just doing one so You want to make sure you go all the whole length of this probe because if you don't then 
you are not getting all the way down in the center like you're supposed to. So after we've collected our sample, we can take our bit piece out. If you look in there, you see hay. All right, broken down pretty finely. So 10 samples will fit in the gallon Ziploc bag. So then you take your plunger and you get your, your cylinder tied around the end and you simply push. And sometimes it's in there pretty tight, so it may take a little bit of time. A little elbow grease. A little elbow grease ain't gonna hurt nothing. I have to put it to my chest sometimes and keep working it. So we had a pretty, pretty good sample here. Who knows, may have caught a rock and don't realize it. <laughs> You know, normally this works a lot better. <laughs> from the other end. extension agents get it wrong <laughs> but you want to do that 10 times and then if you look inside here you can see how it's ground up pretty good uh, that is what the size that they need in order to take a very good sample and do a really good analysis and you want to do that 10 times like I said you might want to need to have both batteries charged up but that right there looks like some pretty good hay from there we can uh, check for a couple different things if you are curious about nitrates, if it's going to be a later cutting you want to do, say it's got a lot of summer annuals or perennials in it, we can do that. If you want to test for, for specific nutrients, we can do that as well. Like say, either copper, selenium, uh, we know we're deficient in those in the state of Tennessee in our soils, as well as uh, magnesium. So we can check all those things and we can figure out what type of supplement program that we need. Uh, and then there's a few other things you can test. Uh, we will be, uh, when we post this video, we will be attaching the forest and algae seat, sheet and what are the things you can check off. The prices will all be on that sheet and what all you can test for. So that way you can get an idea of what you are actually growing, what's going to be in your forages, where are the holes in our nutrient program, and how do we supplement that so that way we're putting out the best quality feed that our cattle can get and we're getting the gains that we're looking for. Again, thank you for watching this video. I'm Jacob Boone with Hancock County Extension. The man operating the video today is Chris Mackey and we love to hear from you. You can call our offices if you have any questions. Um, I have one of these probes. This is actually my probe. Uh, Chris Mackey is going to be getting one soon. So if you're going to be interested in uh, testing your forages, we have this here, or we have these at our office that you can use. You can, I ain't got a drill for you, but I got the probe for you. You have to use your own drill. Um, thank you, and I hope to hear from you guys.